Well, you can't help um, but feel privileged and, and uh, very lucky um, to live the way we do, and, and to have been educated and to have a, a job and, and, and security and a chance to um, achieve one's own aspirations, etc. And I suppose in some way privileged to be able to um, go and help these people. But in some t- ways, um, you also have to be... Um, you have some sense of the enormity of the problems in somewhere like Romania where um, just an example the legal aid worker was telling us if you, if you ask the local um, social workers whether they have a street children problem they will, they will deny that they have a street children problem but he said he could take us and show us 200 children who are still currently living beneath the main streets in Romania and I think that that, that kind of brings home um, the size of the problem. So I think what you take away from it is that we're, we're doing a small amount to help, but it is only a tiny pinprick, really. Some of this work is at an incredibly basic level, and um, it's very simple um, and, and very cost-effective. And I, I think that so often it's this work that um, feeds people um, and gives people a, a, the very basic standards of living and some hope, really, for the future, uh, whilst the um, major changes have to be made at a political and governmental level, you're kind of um, raising the safety net a little bit, um, whilst you hope that um, politicians and statesmen do the rest. And finally, do you know how much money has been raised for Project 59? Yep, in total about £72,000. So, completely over the... Yes, well in excess of our target. But I wasn't surprised, to be quite honest. I, I always thought that the staff would exceed expectations because they always have.